All right, here we go. I'm gonna walk over here and take a look at what's going on. Again, here we are, Chico, California. Let's take a look. What is going on here? A lot of people taking the park back, I guess. Wow, I didn't realize how many people were down here. Man, look at all the people showing up. Insane. How's it going? Wow, this is pretty serious. Got some protesting going on. Use kindness and compassion to find a better way. How's it going? So you got a sign there, huh? What's the sign? Okay. Use kindness and compassion to find a better way. Yep. So you oppose them to leaving? Do um, nothing is on. Right. make sure that there's a place for them to cope. Right. You know, so yeah. where do they go? That's that's the main thing. Where do they go? Well, I don't know, but how can we help them get Look at this. Do you think those bikes are stolen? Yeah, that's not, that's not a good thing. Do you think those bikes are, are legally theirs? The problem is what I would think you know, I feel bad too for anybody to have to be on the streets, sure. regardless. You know what I mean? Yeah. At some point in time, these were somebody's kids. They still are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 that addiction has got a hold of them. It seems. You know? Like you understand? Part that, of it for sure. A lot of it. Not everybody out here has mental issues. A lot of it is they right. get a hold of them. You know that drug, and 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 that's sad. But at the same time, I don't think people that are in you know, living in the civilized world should be victimized by these people's habits, you know? And, and look at this, look at this filth. And, and this here is bringing a lot of bad things, you know, to the water system. They're, they're using the restroom in there. And, you know, it, it's sad. There's definitely gotta be a better way, right? Yeah, but there is, but there are shelters, but these, but individuals that are on drugs don't wanna utilize the shelters because there's rules to follow. You right. understand? And also so, the pandemic has been a factor. The pandemic is, I, I, I'm sure, but 90% of it is because it's there's drugs. There's drug use, and they don't want to follow rules. In order to go into these shelters, you have to abide by the rules. And out here, there's no rules. They can do whatever they want. You know what I mean? But we shouldn't fall victim to theft. You know, and, and the more we, we make this allow this to happen, the more these people feel like we can do whatever we want. You, un you understand? It sort so, of reminds me of what happened at the Capitol. It's a really close parallel. What happened at the Capitol? As far as what? The insurgency. We're just going to let them ha do that to the Capitol? As far as what? Raid the Capitol? Yeah. Yeah, just it like it reminds me of, of a lot of it. Own, yeah. Reminds me of a lot of it. Like, like same thing as, you know, that's a whole nother level of stuff. I don't even want to get into that because we can go for days in circles around the other stuff that happened of the burning down places. And, and, and to be honest with you, I, I don't believe any of that. That's it's too, fo that's too, everywhere. that's too far out for us to worry about at this time. We need to worry about our community and come together as a community, red and blue. 
You know what I'm saying? It, it shouldn't matter. Pol politics shouldn't matter here. This is about the livelihood of the homeless and the individuals that, that, that have homes that pay taxes and a lot of taxes. I'm a business owner and I pay a lot of taxes. You know, and, and my kids can't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow my kids to come here. You know what I mean? I wouldn't allow my kids to utilize this, this parkway that, that my taxes pay for. You know what I'm saying? And, and how would you feel if you, one of your children fell victim to one of these individuals? You know, and it's like this, it's, it's like this. I, I come from the streets too. I, I, at one point in time, I lived wild, you know? And, and it's like this, just like with the needle exchange, okay? And, and everybody felt like, hey, let's let them have it. Let's have them have it, okay? And then they started to abuse it. And the needles started falling on the ground. You see needles everywhere. When I was a kid, I'd never seen a needle, you know? But now kids these days are seeing these needles. And how, how long is it, how, when is it gonna come that a kid sees a needle so much it becomes used to it and decides to pick one of those up and utilize it and start using these needles? You know, once you be comfortable, when you get comfortable with these things, then you wanna get curious and you start thinking about using them yourself. And then it's the cycle continues to happen. Yeah, you understand? So it, it's, 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 uh, it's definitely a wild thing, you know? what? kind of a problem that we're all standing in, no yeah. matter what But what do we do? We're what do we do? I know. What do, what do we do? What do you think we should do? Uh, the better way? Yeah, I think... What are your ideas? Uh, my ideas are that people who are... Um, see you later, Addison. Let's go. Who are on the French of our I'm society. listening, right? Thank you. You're on the French. You're welcome. Um, do you want an orange? Go ahead. Oh. Need uh, vitamin C, support. Vitamin C. Support services that come in so that they're oh, yeah. getting the health care, they're getting the Go psychological find me a new wife and a new health, life. they're getting training in addition. Why does it have to fall on society to that's, do that for them? That's what society when, does. But, but in order to get that, you have to take the first step. You have to want to have change. This gentleman right here, I guarantee he doesn't want change. Okay, you have to want change in order to get change. Well, I don't okay? know that about him. Well, I, well, I know. I'm just, I'm just in reference. I'm, you know what I mean? I'm using him as a, as a. But this is the thing. Let me ask you a part of your background. Okay, where, where do you come from? Do you come from a two-parent home? I do. Okay. Ha, have you ever lived in an environment like this? I've never been. Okay, so let me explain to you about me, where I come from. Okay, I come from these streets. I'm, I'm from this, this, this neighborhood. I come from the streets. I was highly deep in gangs i was a gang member uh, i went to prison for many many years for committing a crime here in this community okay and one day i and i don't have parents i don't have a support system i, I have none of that but one day i woke up in prison and i said you know what and i looked around and i said do i want to live my life like this do i do i want to live the rest of my life in and out of prison like the rest of these people and I made the decision, the conscious decision to say, no, I want to make change, okay? So I did my prison sentence. I did five years in the joint. I got out, okay, with nothing, with nowhere to go. I had nowhere to go. I got out and I was determined to make it because I want to change. I wasn't able to go and call my parents and say, hey, can you guys help me? Because I, I got on my feet and I worked my ass off. I've been out eight years, okay? And in the eight years that I've been out, I bought a home. So okay, welcome. I got two beautiful sons. Uh, I got a business. I'm a contractor. I'm a painting contractor locally here. I hire people. Matter of fact, I hired someone from this park that was homeless. Okay, I hired him. He worked for me. At first, I didn't know he was homeless. Found out he living in his car and he had some problems. He was an alcoholic, drug addict, but I worked with him and I helped him. Okay, I, we got slow and I let this individual and another worker come work at my house, paint my house to give them work. What do you know, man? The last day we worked at my house, some mysterious way, a door got left unlocked on the side of my garage. Okay, I got it on camera, I got it on footage, I got, I see him, and he robbed me. Okay, and he stole, he, he stole a uh, chop saw, a band saw, uh, two brand, a brand new weed eater and a brand new blower. Okay, my point is this, everybody can make it. We all can make it. But we have to make the conscious decision to want to change, okay? And I think that that is, that is the pivotal thing. A lot of these people, make, and we don't know. We don't know. What, we don't. What I, are I don't want to. I don't want to blanket everybody. Sure. But, but, but I, what I was just going to say is, 
we need to create the conditions so the people do want to live. They do want to own their life. They do want to do something just like you did. Yeah. And I think probably everybody has a little different in terms of what conditions have to be present for people to go, this is my life. Yeah. I want to do something with I, my life. I can guarantee. Did you have someone that did support you though? Somewhere along the line. After I got out, well listen, look, it. I'm Was not the, I'm And, 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 and she became my backbone, uh -huh. you know, and, you and and we worked together and she's a nurse and uh, we worked together and we got our, our got ourselves out of out of poverty. You know what I'm saying? And we got up off the ground together. That's you know what, what I'm saying? saying is she is she symbolizes some, the society mm -hmm. that we want to encourage. Right. Because we all need somebody. She was your backbone. Right, right, right. We, we just want to be your backbone. No, I understand. What's, I, what? In prison, you know, people could have, you know, people were giving up on you and, yeah, yeah. you know. And but I didn't give up on myself. But I didn't give up on myself. Yeah, but you could have. No, she wasn't there for me in prison. I, know, I didn't know I'm in prison. I know, I know. But, but the you made the, it honestly, the grace of God yeah. is who I give it yeah. to. Okay? Yeah. The grace of God. Absolutely. I, I, let me ask, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you this. I never, I never, I never believed in God prior to me getting arrested. I didn't believe in God, I didn't believe in, I believed in myself. I had a very rough life. And, it, and, and when I died, I didn't want to go to heaven, I didn't want to go to hell. I just wanted to go to sleep and I want my soul to rest, okay? But one day, I had all this on the streets. I was selling drugs, I was, I was, I was in a, I was involved, okay? I, I had been doing crazy things, but I got tired of it. And I got on my knees for the first time in my life, and I said, if there's a God, I need you to help me, okay? That night I come, and I was in jail two days later. And I knew it was from God because I asked him. And sometimes we don't, we don't always think, you know, God comes in the mysterious ways. And he set me down, let's get out of the way. He set me down for five years, and he worked on me. And my whole life was changed. Yeah, no, I get that. You know what I mean? So, so maybe we need to, you know, they need to find something to right. believe in. Right. Even if it's right. not my God, because right. you know, I believe in, I believe in Jesus Christ. Absolutely. You know, but they need to find and believe in something. Right. You know what I mean? And we get but that. but the thing is, is that this is not helping. This is enabling them to do this. You know, when you have a kid that's on drugs and you keep letting this kid come home and, and come home, get high, and then go to jail back and forth, back and you know what I mean? And you're enabling them to do it. What what is gonna happen to him? He's gonna find a dark end and eventually die, yeah. okay? When we enable this to happen, we're allowing them to get deeper and deeper into the shit. Yeah. We have to have some tough love. You gotta give that tough love and say, look, man, we're not gonna give you these resources. You're gonna have to do it yourself. Get up off your ass and do it yourself, okay? Then once they realize like, damn, I'm not gonna just get all this stuff for free, then it's gonna start clicking that they gotta get it together. When no one wants to help you, then you wanna, you start asking yourself, well, how am I gonna do it? And you start helping yourself. You yeah. know, you it, have it's, to- it's, it's an interesting concept that somehow it's gonna come, because it does have to come from inside. But just like you were saying, when there's, you know, addiction or there's mental health issues, yeah. they mental don't health, have that kind of clarity. The individuals with mental health issues, we need to get them help. Yes. Because listen, let me tell you something. There's kids, there's people out here- Everybody that is homeless has a form of some mental health. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I, I, I don't think, I, don't think I, I don't, I don't think, I don't they think say, all of them, I don't think all of them, but, that, but the ones, when you become homeless, it push, it can push you towards that. Just yeah. Just consider I, your I, own self. Absolutely. If you, if you absolutely. Oh, so believe no, me. No absolutely. Security, it pushes right. you towards that edge. Right. But no the thing is this, the thing is this, the individuals that are here with mental health issues, when my son was born, I, I seen the miracle happen. So that's some, these people with mental health that are lost out here, they're somebody's miracle, man. And, and I really truly believe they're lost. And we need to get them help. We need to get them. Someone needs to hold them, give them a shower, absolutely. and love them. Give them this love. Is where we and, agree, right and some here, people, right yeah, here, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right I'm not, I don't, right I, listen, point. I have a heart too, yes. man. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? We and a lot of people, a lot of people yeah. do need love. Yes. You know what I mean? But we can't, but we can't enable them to do this. That's just, this is not loving them. Can I just ask you one yeah. thing though? So, what would be the harm of someone here that doesn't steal? Is no harm. 
no harm. No harm. No harm. Listen, what, someone you know, maybe that's... Maybe it doesn't look like how we want it to look, but... Listen, what's some... What's the harm in letting a person live in, in these trees? Listen, listen. Some... Okay. No harm. If, if they're doing... If there was people living here, like, respecting the environment, you know, cleaning up after themselves, so I could... Is listen. All contained? Listen. You see these people in the back? We're in California. Yeah, yeah. Do you own a home? Yes. Okay. So you know how... Excuse my language. It is here in California. Yes. Okay. And when you work your ass off every single day and, and you pay all these ex extremely crazy taxes, okay, you don't want to come home in your beautiful home, look out your window and see this. I actually, I actually look out here and go, oh, it looks like a music festival. Okay. Well, everybody, <laughs> everybody's different, but the majority don't want to go. They want to enjoy their view. They want to enjoy this beautiful park, but they can't. But if we could get them and put them somewhere that, that they, that, that you know, makes everybody happy, then that, I think that'd be great. You know, but it, I don't think cleaning up after yourself should be don't should be so trauma hard. In the meantime, do not create trauma in the meantime. Come here, buddy. Come here. Let's go. Don't don't just yell. Come over here and talk. Where are we going? Right here. Come here. No, he just wants to talk. Come on. You, you see what I'm? You see what I'm saying? Thank you. No, no. Come here. Respect you, man. You you don't. Yeah, yeah, come here. Come here. You, you see what I'm saying? And that's what you want? I know. Yeah. But what do you want? That's what you want. The tents are coming down. You but win. You, you, Jesus, okay? Listen, listen. Jesus. Listen, stop acting childish. Oh, Act hey. your age and come over here and talk. Come on, come over here and talk. I get too. I don't know why I represent you. I don't want to represent you. You see what I'm saying? We can't have civil conversations if people want to act like that. And that's what these people are worried about. You know what I mean? But if if I would have went over there, you think that individual wouldn't have attacked me? I wouldn't have attacked you, but... Um, you don't think that it would have got physical? It could have got physical. I don't like you. you see what I... It could have got He's physical. Not, no, he but, is not. But, we know him. But what, I'm, but, what I'm, but what I'm saying, though, is I don't. Yeah. And I am violent. So if I would have went over there, he would have came and approached me in, in that manner. Then I would have had to whoop his ass. You, you understand? But but obviously I'm not going to do that, right? Thank you. But what I'm saying, come on, I'm better than that. <laughs> but what I'm saying though is that, it, that that's what's here. Well, and and you uh, as an as a uh, an older older woman, imagine you walking through here at night because your house is here, and it would be faster for you to come through here instead of going that way. Uh -huh. And that individual is having a bad day and attacks you. Uh -huh. How would you feel? We want to prevent that. You know what I mean? That we can't do that kind of stuff, man. If we're gonna make it better, we gotta come together and talk about it and right. figure out what people's problems are. Totally. All I wanna do is ask him what his problem is. And he, that's what he does. I'm not the enemy, believe me, I don't get you know, I don't live I live way over there, you know, I don't see this shit. I'm just here because I'm curious, you know, but nonetheless, it's all sad, man, and and I, it, it is all sad and there is a better way and we do need to come to Together to find what do you think that what do you think the better what do you think it is you know i don't know you know i know that this has been going and that's why we got to put our minds together and figure exactly. it out <laughs> do, you have, do you have a card or anything i know i don't i've been in business too long i don't carry the damn cards no more you know i leave them in the truck but would you want to be part of a conversation absolutely yeah absolutely you how know what i mean how uh i'm on facebook oh, here i have a thing or you can just uh, write uh, write my number down. What's your name? My name is Sergio. Sergio? Yeah, Sergio. Marty. Here. Marty? Yeah, come Marty. on, Marty. Just come on, Marty. <laughs> live on the edge. Look at where you're at. Live on the edge a little bit, Marty. <laughs> you got to live on the edge a little bit. I feel like there's got to be somebody in the middle that can you know level it out because right. there's a lot of people that they're just tired of it man right. do you well, live in this like do you live right here i live down that way but these three people right here are all middle people mm -hmm. we all work towards trying to facilitate communication yeah. mm -hmm. and you have a great potential to do that too yeah yeah so we really well i'm not blinded by one side you know sergio yeah yeah that's my name sergio. okay just put my phone number down 530 okay. You know, I'm not blinded by one side. You know what I mean? I I, I do have a party. You know what I mean? And I, you I, have I a do. Life experience. I, I do have a. Really and 
That's three, two, one. Two. That's huge. I think you're okay. And that's, I mean, because you are a good example of a person who... I have a testimony, that's for damn sure. You know what I mean? And 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 you have some compassion. I, I come I come from where these you know where these guys come from. But at the same time it's like I, I can see through I can see things that you probably can't. Well we You, you know what I mean? Because because been, my environment was different right, than yours. Exactly, you know exactly. what I mean? So I can see things that you can't see. Right. And and you have a, a different perspective on what might be needed. And that's what I think we all need to do is put our different perspectives together, yeah. come together and talk about that. Right. Exactly. And, and opposed to just saying, mm -hmm. exactly. you know, assuming you're this and I'm assuming right. I'm that, right. and we just want right. to, you, right. know, you know don't, what I mean? And we don't get anywhere, and we're still in the same we don't place. Get, we don't get right. anywhere. Right. I totally appreciate your um, openness. Yeah, absolutely. To talk. I'm not blinded. No. Believe me, I was blinded once in my life, and I, I got to open it up, yeah. you know? Yeah. I, I have a, I have. I feel the same way. I feel like I'm, I'm wanting to open up more than I've, I've been walking by, you know? I've yeah. been walking by going, wow, I'm glad they have a place. And now I feel horrible that they won't have a place. And well, they didn't. don't have an option. And I know. They have options, there. though. That's the problem. They do have options. They just don't want to utilize the options because the options they have come with rules. But we all have rules. We all have to abide by certain rules. All of us. The ones with houses and the ones without houses. We all have rules. You know what I mean? You have to pay your taxes. You don't pay your taxes, they're going to take your house. We all have rules. And they need to understand that. We all have rules and we all have to abide by something. You know what I mean? And and they have rules too. You know what I mean? And, and I bet they do have their own code. No, 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 but, but established let me tell you this. Area. Every, I, I understand it, but they need to have the rules of society. Well, and that's okay, because I lived in a, li in a yeah. society outside of our society, right. underground society, yeah. and I shot somebody. Okay, that's how I committed my crime. I shot somebody. Mm -hmm. And when they charged me, they gave me, they said 42 years to life. Okay. Let me tell you the first thought of my mind. I go, for what? Mm -hmm. I just shot somebody. But in my society, that was okay to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in our society, mm -hmm. that's not okay to do. Mm -hmm. But I was so lost and brainwashed thinking yeah. that the society yeah. that I lived in was the right way. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now that I'm a part of this society, I look back and I go, what the hell was I thinking? Shame on me. You know what I mean? Because I was blinded, and so you, you know? Yeah, you but now that I'm in the society, ours, they could have a code and conduct within their society, right. but at the same time, they got to respect yeah. ours, yeah. Mm -hmm. the leading society. Yeah, yeah. yeah but you understand? You, yeah, and when we don't provide like toilets and we don't provide- It is provided, what, what is your name? Tana. What? Tana. Tana, I'm Sergio. Like Donna and Sergio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tana, but it, it is provided. Uh, it is provided. No, but it's a long way from here. This, that's, that, that, those, those are the crosses they got to carry by wanting to live like this, that you got to walk your ass way over there. Give them some kind of, something to go. I want more than this. I want more than to come get high in a tent every night. I want more than that. I want... I want to have my own home where people can't come. I can do whatever I want. And you're right. I'm you know, you got to gotta, you gotta give, you gotta give them yeah. a little bit, you know, make it, make it uncomfortable for them to walk that far. And maybe that walk one day, they'll go, you know what, I'm tired of this. <laughs> I want to walk to the bathroom in my hallway. You know, you can't give it all to them. You have to give them some initiative to change. Thank you. What you just said, the reason I'm not living on the streets. Because you gotta have an initiative exactly to change, you, you know? You can't give it all to, listen, believe me. If I could, if, if, I, if I could, if I could, I'll get a tent and live right here too. You know how much money that I could save if I lived here for free? <laughs> Holy moly, it's like camping every day. You know what I mean? You know how much money I could save? You know how much I pay in taxes? I paid, I paid last year in taxes. They, believe me, they give it to me. And it's like, I, you know, I could have saved so much, you know, and, and, and. I get what you're saying about that. Do you see what I'm saying? No, I get what you're saying. I'm going to burn down this camp. You know what I mean? They, 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 we need to, we, there's some people, man, that need help. Yeah. There's some people, you know, that need help. And it is our duty to help them because we got a better, better edge on them. 
But that is not unacceptable. You know what I mean? That is unacceptable. Doing that, walking by, you know what I mean? That's unacceptable and you guys gotta see that. You know, there's some people that we need to hold, hug, and love. And there's some we need to give them a swift kick in their ass and say, you need to get it together, buddy. Well, and I, I think that, that, <laughs> right? that is it's interesting that you had not, every, the same method of motivating people is not gonna work. It's not so all you have to same. really work with the person and have an idea, okay, what, what's gonna yeah. be the, the best. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think you're, yeah. you're right. People make it, pe people make it more than what it is. You, me, we need to just come together, put all our differences aside, put all our, our all our thoughts together and go, okay, let's see the best option. Yeah. Because I can guarantee yeah. you, me talking to you now might put a seed in your mind to go, man, maybe I didn't look at it in that perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, and if I can drop that little seed in you, and then you, what you tell me, I might go, well, I didn't think of that either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, we need to, we need to stop being Democrats and Republicans, and we need to just be human. Right. At this point, right. mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of ugly shit going on out there, okay? But we need to be human and stop fighting. Right. I, I can't come to you and say, I already know what your your, your party is, right. and I hate you just because of that. Right. I need to come to you and talk to you. I was in a gang for 28 years. I know about that. That's all bullshit. <laughs> You know, we, we need to come together as people yeah. and talk about sure. it. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Didn't want to interrupt too much. Well, we were no, we're, having a, we're just having a discussion. We're, we're talking about... A healthy people. discussion. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. a healthy that's, discussion. That's where it starts. You know? I got to all walk with you. Marty, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, Sergio. Absolutely. For some reason, I think we're going to be talking again. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to do that? Talk? Yeah. 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 I got a lot to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. But, we, but, 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 I'm gonna go in order, now because I can't stand up any longer. My back and my knees are screaming at me. And in order to fix this, Sergio, people gotta open their mind. Take care. Absolutely. You gotta shake my hand. You know what I mean? I live on the edge. Believe it. You're living on the edge too. Look at where you're at. This is on the edge. You know? I know. You gotta wake up, man. We, right? we all have to wake up. We all do. And we have to stop being blinded and. and Everybody has a reason to be mad, but everyone needs to find a reason to be happy. All of us, you know, right? Cause I'm pissed off about a lot of shit. You know what I mean? But every day I gotta wake up and say, look at my kids and or find something to love and to hold on. It's really nice talking to you. You know? You. Cool. Yeah, yeah call I love me. Your nice heart. <laughs> I really do. I found it a couple years ago. <laughs> Wasn't always like that. That's so, cool. so are they gonna take all these out too, or are they done? I think they're gonna do the whole thing. Okay. I'm gonna get some more of this. I'm gonna see what else is going okay. on. But it was a blessing talking yeah. to you guys. And anything that I can do to help, reach out to me. You know, and 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 I'll be more than happy to, to you know. I don't know what to do, you know, but we're all in the same boat. But I know I have a lot of thought, you know. So, nice meeting okay. you, ladies, huh? Bye. Sandoval, how you doing, man? Hey, what are you, you doing? Know what you? How you been? I'm hey, doing I'm great. Get, come on, man. Come well, on. I, I, come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Live. How you been? I'm doing great. You look good, man. I have. Life has changed for me, hey, man. That uh, I can see. I'm happy for you, man. <laughs> life has changed. I knew this guy when he was about that tall. On the... life, life, life has changed, man. I, you got uh, kids? Yeah, I got two sons. Uh, obviously, I, out of high school, you know, I, I kept going down the road I was in. I ended up going to the pen. Did uh Got out eight years ago. Uh, I'm a contractor, own a business. Good got for people you, man. working for me. Good for you know, you, I'm a painting man. contractor. So now I'm just out here interviewing people. <laughs> oh, well, hey, listen, put the right message out for them because we want to make sure they're making the right decisions for themselves. Uh, seeing you, man. Look at all that gray hair, too, man. Oh, Holy you. smokes. <laughs> Who's that, John? What's happening? 
How we doing? I'm nobody. I'm just walking by, man. Hey, where, where are you guys from? Where, where are you from? How old are you? You look young, man. Hell young. Oh, you don't stay here? She 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 stays out here. I'm just curious. Shout out about about being Miss. I, I won't face it to you. I face it over here while we talk. Why do you want to talk to me? So I'm just I'm just curious about how, how you guys feel, man. I feel like and where do you guys? Fucking bullshit. Right. I feel like we've grown to be family out here. We're community right. and we're tearing us apart. Right. We're not doing anything but trying to live. Right. How, how old are you? No, I want to talk to you. Just talk to me. What about you, bud? What do you think, man? You look pretty young, too, man. I don't understand how you guys are so young out here. What happened? Uh, What's your name, man? My name is Sergio. Uh, and I'm not the enemy. I'm Scott. Scott, how you doing? Good. Where are you from, Scott? I'm here. You're from Chico? Yeah. How old are you? 30. Okay, I'm six years older than you. We might have crossed paths. Where'd you go to school at? PV? Damn, Scott, what happened? I know, look at me. I know you come from a good family. <laughs> How'd you end up out here, Scott? Like you start school or what? When you got out of school, you started messing around? And, and, so how do we get you help? Do you want help? How long you been on the streets, man? Uh, so, not as long as some of these people have been. I've only been on the streets for about two years. Damn. Off and on. And what do you heroin? I'm sorry, man. Chasing that dragon, you know what I mean? Yeah. I do. When's the last time you got high? Today. Yeah, yeah. I've, well, obviously, you have to. Because if you don't, you're going to get sick. Yeah, that's the bullshit about it. So how do we find your parents? What do your parents feel? Are you in communication with your parents? So how do we fix that, man? Because let me tell you, look at me. Look, look at me, man. Every, I know everybody has problems. No matter what wealth you come from or what, what poverty you come from. But let me tell you, when I had my son, I seen the grace of God happen. And he was my miracle. So, Scott, you're a miracle to somebody. And somebody loves you, man. You know, and I know it's hard for you to 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 get back because you you're in love with that dope, over, you know. I just have to get over the deep behavioral and get back on the suboxone program. Right. But with COVID and all this shit going on, it's it's, it's hard. Easy, right. You know? they, they aren't taking the patients or anything. So they're okay. So what you're supposed to do is then you got to find subs on the street. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, I know. How'd you get into uh, heroin though? Uh, Started with well, pills. Right. Yep. Couldn't get them anymore. Once they were killed, went away, and you know, just basically to avoid getting sick, I had to do what I had to do. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, you know, definitely not the, the proudest moment of my life. But, right. You know, going through the sickness isn't fun. Oh hell, no, it ain't. But uh, I don't know. I, I was sober for three years. You know, I had a three-year stretch, and then. Start hanging around the wrong people again, and it all just went down from there. But uh, see, now listen, you are the people we need to help, man. You know, the ones that are out here are just acting a fool, and they gotta they gotta get tough love, man. There's a lot of those. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm, come on, man. I, 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 I mean, like, I don't even no, even if you did, though, man. You know, even uh, if you did, there. Right. So where do you go from here, Scott? I'm going to get my kid loaded up and probably try and get back home. Can we call your parents? I prefer not to do that right at the moment. I need to get clean first. I have enough, I have basically about, if 
five-day bridge in Sebastian, which I'm going to be starting today. Mm -hmm. I just have to wait 20 hours. Uh, otherwise, it gets into the precipitated withdrawal, which is yeah. Hours. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's time. Um, hopefully, my parents will, will let me come home. You have siblings? Yeah, cool. Yeah. So you're the youngest. You're the baby. Somebody loves you, man. No, I don't do that. Because you're not, man. You're human. Yeah. And it's not, listen, I come from people, I know people, man, that have been hooked up on shit, you know? You're still human, man. And and like I said, people love you, man. But you got to love yourself. And whatever happened to get you to this point, you got to work on that. And, and, and by taking responsibility like you are, addressing it, that's the first step to recovery, man. You know what I mean? As long as you acknowledge that and acknowledge your your surroundings and your situation that it's not cool. You know, you could be in a warm house right now. You know, you, you, you don't want to get a job and, and live within society and get yourself a woman and a beautiful woman and or whatever you're into, you know. But it's hard to get off. Right. Hell yeah. Right. Absolutely. I'm just glad to hear you have a conscience still, man. So there's still hope for you. When you don't have a conscience, man, there's no hope. Did you graduate high school? You go to college? What? Scott, look at me, man. Listen, bud. We all have a cross to carry. Yours is a little bit heavier than others, but you can make it. You're smarter, you, you, you're smart, man. Listen to me, I, I come from, I barely graduated high school. Went to the pen, you know, did time in the joint, and I got a business now. You know what I mean? These people allow me to get a business. You, you understand? And if I could do it, Scott, you can do it. You, you know what I mean? And, damn, dude. Damn. You deserve better, man. You deserve better. There's programs for that. But you deserve better, man. What kind of family did you come from? Middle class or upper class, lower class? Kind of lower. Okay. Not, not, I mean, you know, let's just put it this way. In high school, I knew we didn't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. like, you know, next to my peers. Right. But we lived close. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's all we really want, any of us. What what did your parents do for a living, or what did they do for a living? Um, my dad's a, well, he was a general contractor, and now he's a, he works at a, actually he likes to work right now, um, but he's like in his 70s now, so he can't. Oh, you got older parents. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, did, did you ever, have you burned that bridge? Mm -hmm. you know, love. Right. Uh, in which case, then I'm right back here. Right. You know, so. But you know what's great about burning bridges? Is that's why there's extra wood to rebuild them. You know what I mean? And your dad's a contractor, man, so he knows about building. You know, but you have to show that you want to change. Because nobody, listen, nobody wants a dope fiend living with them. Because they're worried about when you're going to want to get high again and what you're going to take. Of course they don't. They're older. They, they come from a way different place than either one of us. They heard I was on heroin and they thought, oh my God. You know, it is oh my God. Shooting up. It is oh my God. It is serious. I don't, I don't use that. But, no, but what I'm saying though, it is oh my God. It is I know, serious. I know, I know. But it ain't it ain't serious enough to it's disown like your movie, child. Though, yeah. They, they're picturing it like the movies. You know? Yeah, yeah, of course they are. Train, train spotting. Right. Shit, you know? <laughs> so you're not shooting it? You're smoking it? Or what are you doing? Shooting it? No, no. Smoking it? Okay. So, is there something I can do to help you? I mean, honestly, I'm 
honestly, just talking through it right now is yeah. pretty much all I need. I can give you my number. You can call me. We, we can talk, man. For sure. You know? Yeah, call me and I'll, I'll talk to you, man. And I'll try to give you as much guidance as I can. Absolutely. Everybody needs help, man. And sometimes the help is tough love, you know? And my name is Sergio. I'm start, I'm start. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I'm starting this little, uh, this little YouTube interview with people. You know what I mean? And this is a great, great time to do it. Maybe I, maybe I can, we can set something up, man, where I can come sit down and we can talk a little more on camera and try to get you out there into the public, man. And maybe somebody want to reach out and and get you the right resources that you need. Because at 30 years old, man, there, there's a lot of hope for you, man. You know what I mean? Well, any, you know what I mean? Of course. But, you know, damn, dude. I feel bad. So where do you guys go from here? Uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> they basically told us that we got to get our stuff out of here. So I'm waiting for my friend to come. Want me to move my stuff to storage. And oh, you have a storage? How do you how do you get an income? Do you have an income? Uh, no, not right now. So how do you pay for your storage? Uh, well, so I've got uh, the unemployment right now. Oh, you get an employment? Yeah, because I, I did work for a solar company. Uh, oh, is that? Right? And how long ago was that? Oh man, so you man. With the with the pandemic and everything going on right now, they they uh, do automatic. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. But it's hard. It's not easy with the whole COVID. Yeah. Shit, dude. Well, damn. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna film up some more of this stuff, Scott. It was a uh, it was a pleasure meeting you. Likewise. Reach out to me, man. I'll talk to you. You know. And uh, I hope you the best, man. I wish you the best. You know. Why it was supposed to get back? Uh, I think that the cops were straight taking all of our stuff, cited us, and arrested. Oh shit, dude! Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, you got to We got to respect society too, you know. I would just. <laughs> All right, buddy. Hey, good talking to you, man. And hey, you got you're in the right direction, man. Just you know, just keep moving that way. You know, just acknowledge that you need change. Yeah, that's all. It's All right, brother. Take it easy, huh? Yeah.